Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max and I'm going to be showing you how to do this in two different ways. Let's get started. Now there's two main ways to set up your iPhone and we're going to go through each of them. We're going to start by going through the process together and when it gets to that point where you can choose how you want to set it up, we'll branch it off and you can click ahead to the timestamp on screen or the chapter in the description to the option you want to actually use. So for starters, for all of us, we're going to just swipe up from the bottom here and it's going to open up our language setting and we're just going to choose our language being English and it's going to move us to our country or region. So select it from the list. It may pop up right here as it did for me. And this is the section where it says quick start. Now you can set it up manually or if you have an iPhone that is already set up in the past, like an older iPhone, all you have to do is unlock it, bring it close to the other iPhone and you'll see it's going to pop up by saying set up new iPhone. Now if you choose that option it's going to look a little bit different. We're going to set it up manually here first but if you do want to actually set it up with your phone like this skip ahead to the timestamp on screen or you can click the chapter link in the description and then continue on with the tutorial. But for us like I said we're going to set this up manually so we'll tap set up manually here. From here we're going to choose our Wi-Fi network and we're going to enter in our password and then tap join. When you see the check mark beside your network you can tap next and depending on your internet speed and the phone you're setting up it may take more or less time. In this section it's just letting us know that this icon will appear when an Apple feature asks you to use your personal information. You can read through the rest of this or tap learn more to get more information. We'll tap continue. This is the face ID setup. You can set this up later in settings, but we'll set it up right now just so you can see how it works. So we'll tap continue. This circle, it's letting us know we're going to have to turn our head and shift it so that we fit into this uh, position. So we'll tap this. And basically I'm trying to fit my head here in the circle and I'm gonna turn it. You know, I have a camera in my way here. So I'm just gonna lift this up quickly. And there you go. So the first face ID scan is complete. We'll tap continue to do the second one and you're pretty much doing the same thing. Move your head slowly. I'm just gonna lift it up again here. All right, I got a hat on and everything. It's, it's pretty standard and it works really well. So once it's set up, you'll see a check mark here. You can tap continue. And then you can create a passcode. Now you can see we have passcode options. By default, you set up a six digit passcode, but if you tap the options, you can choose an alphanumeric code, which will allow you to use your keypad, where you have letters, numbers, and special characters. Or you can choose to use a four digit, which is a very simple passcode, if you prefer that as well. For this example though, we're just going to use the standard six digits. I'm just gonna use zeros for now. If you ever choose a passcode that's too weak, it will prompt you to maybe change it so it's something a little stronger, but we're just gonna use this anyway for this example just to keep things simple. All right, now this is where things could branch off and be a little bit different depending on what you choose. So for example, you can restore data from your iCloud backup if you've had a previous iPhone with iCloud already. You can restore from a Mac or PC, transfer directly from an iPhone, move data from even an Android device if you've come from there, or you can choose to not transfer apps or data. Now we're gonna be completely manual on this tutorial, so we're gonna choose don't transfer, and this is where it's going to take you. So again, just follow on screen if it does look a little bit different. But from here, you can choose to enter in your Apple ID if you have one. If you don't, you can tap right here and you can choose to set it up later in settings, create a free Apple ID, or if you forgot your password or Apple ID, reset it and then log in. I'm gonna keep things extremely simple. So if you're a brand new user, we're just going to choose set up later in settings, or you can create one for yourself and uh, it'll pretty much take you to the next step again like this. So we're gonna tap agree. It's going to prompt you here, letting you know that it's going to keep your phone up to date. That means you're gonna receive notifications before updates are installed on your phone and you can choose to do them or not in your settings. So we'll tap continue. So giving you some information on iMessage and FaceTime. So basically telling you that you'll be able to have people contact you on all your devices with iMessage or FaceTime installed on them. And the phone number of this phone will be sent to Apple to set up these two features. 
we'll tap continue or tap not now. So we'll tap continue here. Location services, you can enable this and that means this little arrow will pop up at the top here whenever your location is being used in an application for whatever the option is. It's meaning maps, uh, find my, so if your phone gets lost, it's a good feature to have on, but you do wanna customize it later in settings. So we'll enable that as well. And then we have Siri. And Siri, basically your personal assistant on your phone helping you get things done. You can ask it questions and various things like that. We can tap continue to set this up and it's gonna ask us to select a voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. So like it says, just pick one of the voices and tap next. From here, we can just say this keyword if we want Siri to be activated when we say this. I'm not gonna go through this step because it's a little bit uh, more tedious, so we'll just tap at the bottom, set up later in settings. And I have a full tutorial on how to use Siri, so if you wanna learn how, there's a link in the description or the card up top will show you how as well. It's telling you that if you press and hold on the side button of your phone, that'll activate Siri. We'll tap continue. And now within Siri, if you wanna help Apple improve Siri and dictation, you can actually allow it to share your audio recordings. If you do decide that, read through this carefully. We're gonna say not now because I don't wanna share my information. Screen time, this is a cool feature that's going to help you keep track of how much you're using your device as well as what you're using your device with. You can get a weekly report and you can even set limits. Now you can see right up top there's a card and there's a link in the description with a full tutorial on how this works. It's very beneficial, especially if you find yourself using your phone too much. We're gonna set this up later in settings and you can watch that video to do so yourself. This section is iPhone analytics. You can choose to share it with Apple or not. Again, if you're going to share it, read through this and also read the privacy there as well. We're gonna choose not to do this. And then we have our appearance. So we can select light or dark appearance. And if you choose the dark mode, you can see it's going to be a nice dark mode. And this is a more popular mode these days, but just for this video, we'll keep things on the light mode and tap continue. And this section here is display zoom and you can see through these little images how the right side is a little bit bigger than the left side so it's going to be more zoomed in so if you prefer to see things larger you'll notice that there'll be less apps on your home screen as well if you choose zoomed but you can change this later in settings as well if you'd like we'll leave it on standard and tap continue and at this point we can just swipe up and we're taken to our home screen on our new iPhone 13, 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max. Now, once you have set this up, like I said, everything can be modified in your settings application here. You can sign into your phone with your Apple ID at the top. You can also go through all of these settings right here to set up your Siri, your face ID, change your passcode, the display, and so on. Now I go through pretty much everything you can do with your iPhone 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max on this channel. So if you're looking to learn more how to use the camera, tips, tricks, and full tutorials, definitely subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post a new video, and click the like button if this video was helpful for you. As always, the link to all those videos is in the description below. So if you wanna click on that, you can go through all the tutorials right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. All right, so if you're at this section here, that means you wanted to set up your iPhone using an existing iPhone that you already had. And all you have to do to set it up that way is just bring your iPhone close to the iPhone you wanna set up. And then on screen on your previous iPhone or iOS device, you're gonna tap continue. And it's gonna start connecting and you'll see on screen what it's gonna ask you to do. It wants you to bring the camera up to the phone and you're going to wanna to line it up with those circles. Now it was really quick, but basically you're just going to do that and you're gonna see what's gonna happen on both of these devices. And on screen here, it's gonna say finish on new phone. So we'll leave this one aside here for now. Now, depending on the phone or your internet connection, you may have a longer wait time or a shorter one. Now we're gonna set up Face ID and we're gonna tap continue here to do so. And it's gonna give us information on how we're going to set this up. So we're basically gonna turn our head and try to fit it on screen. So we'll tap get started. I'm gonna lift my phone up here a little bit and kind of just turn my head. And you'll see right there, first Face ID scan has been completed. We'll tap continue. And now we're on the second one. So this time we're gonna kind of just tilt our head around as well. 
and there you go. And you can see it works pretty well. I had hat on and everything, and it was still able to connect. Once you see this check mark, it means it's good. Face ID is set up. We'll tap next, and we'll enter in our passcode. Now you can enter in a six digit passcode or tap passcode options, which gives you the ability to choose a custom alphanumeric code, which brings up the keyboard. That means you can use letters, numbers, and pretty much anything that your keyboard has to offer. Or you can even choose a simple four digit passcode like we had with the older iPhones, and then just enter in those numbers like so. For this example, we're gonna use the six digit and we're just gonna choose something very simple. And if you do choose something too simple, you'll get this prompt here letting you know that it can be guessed very easily. I'm going to tap use anyway, but I suggest you choose something stronger. We're just doing this to keep things simple and fast for the video. Now at this point, it's asking us to transfer the data from the iPhone 13 mini because that's the phone I brought close to it. If you had an iPad, it'll mention that or an older iPhone, it'll mention that as well. So we're gonna tap continue and then we're going to go through the terms and service. A lot of people don't read this, it's your choice, but if you tap agree, you are agreeing to all this. So we'll tap agree and then tap agree once again. Now at this point, you can customize the settings here. You can tap on these options so that you can set up your appearance, your screen time, all of that good stuff if you want and go through all of those processes. If you tap continue, it's going to set everything up as you had it on your other iPhone. So we'll tap continue. This is iMessage and FaceTime. You can read through this and tap continue. Siri, you can set this up right now or you can set it up later. We'll tap continue. You can select one of the voices. I'm Siri, choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. You can tap next once you've selected or just tap choose for me. You can set this keyword to set up Siri. We're not gonna do this, we'll say set up later. We'll tap continue here. It's just letting you know that pressing and holding the side button activates Siri. You can improve Siri and dictation by sharing your audio recordings. I'm gonna say not now. If you do, I strongly recommend you read through this and understand what Apple's going to do with that information. Same goes with the iPhone analytics. Make sure if you're choosing to share it with Apple, you understand what they're going to do with that information. I'm gonna to choose to not share it. And you can see on both phones now, it's transferring the data from the iPhone 13 mini over to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, obviously this is gonna be a lot quicker on my phone because this one was almost empty. If you had a phone that had tons of information and things on it, it's going to take a lot longer. Once it's done, you'll see that this phone is actually restarting. You don't have to touch it or anything like that. And you can see on my iPhone 13 mini that it does say transfer complete. I can tap continue on that phone and I can erase my old phone right here if I was going through the process of getting rid of this phone. But we'll talk about that in another video. So while it's updating all the information here to be the same as the older phone, you don't wanna turn this off. You don't want to play around with it. Just let it do its thing. If you had too little battery, you may need to plug it up to a charger, but it shouldn't take too long, again, depending on how much information you had on your older phone. Once it brings up the home screen, once again here, we can swipe up, it'll open up your home screen and now you have your iPhone set up based on the previous phone that you had. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, and if you did, hit that like button. And if you're looking to learn more about your iPhone 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, or iPhone 13, there's a link in the description to the full playlist. I do tutorials, tips, and tricks videos, so definitely click that link to learn more. And also subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. There's a lot more to cover with these new iPhones. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, and I'll try my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.